Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back in another video. Today I'm just going to show you how to optimize Windows 10 for rendering. This also works on any other version of Windows except for Windows XP since it doesn't have a registry editor. But for now, yeah, it uh, got, if you follow it correctly, it might make your render up to two times faster, which is definitely a lot. Um, I hope I helped you guys with this. If I do help you with this guide, please consider liking the video as it helps my channel to grow by a lot. Anyways, let's get right into this. First thing you want to go ahead and do is click on your Windows button and go into the settings. From there, go right into privacy, scroll down until you find background apps. And yeah, just go ahead and turn it off like that. When it's on, probably for you it is, turn it off. And app diagnostics, if this is on, turn it off. And that's that for the Windows 10 settings. Oh no, wait, I forgot one thing. Go into gaming right here. Turn off the, the Xbox game bar. Go into captures and yeah, leave it off. Go into the game mode and turn it on like that that was it for the window settings i also have this back for you ready so i'll explain you how to use this uh let's get into this okay so this pack you can download it from the description just go ahead and open it first off create a restore point it's quite simple you just click this and this comes up now click ok after you created a restore point go back Go into the settings tweak and disable background apps. This should be quite self-explaining. It disables the apps which run in the background without, without your permission. Now disable FSO and game bar. Open this. Click yes. Yes. Okay. This, this also will come up with a window asking for permission. You just want to click yes. Next off, disable sharing data with Microsoft. What this does, it disables your sharing with Microsoft, improving your internet while you're doing something, uploading a video or something like that, while increasing performance while rendering or using any other heavy program, such as a game or something like that. Next off, we go deeper into your system and disable more unnecessary background processes. Run it, click yes, click yes. Next off, high priority for heavy programs. So what do you want to like give the tech heavy program? You should think of like programs like Vegas or any other editing program, games or Blender or any 3D program which uses a lot of CPU and GPU. So just run this and click yes, yes. Okay, next off, improve your RAM management. This gives Vegas or any other program more RAM to work with, which makes it more stable and it will crash less. Uh, yeah, just run the script, click yes and yes. Okay, next off, reduce CPU throttling. This is when your power plan disables your CPU cores or some of your cores to save power, but you don't want this, so just run it. yes. Yes. So this makes your CPU optimized for rendering any other heavy program, etc. Next, go back, go into the power tweaks and disable power throttle. And yes. And okay. Exit out of there. Next off, we are going to fix your GPU performance. Open it and go in here. But first, before you do this, if you haven't already, create a restore point to save your data if something goes wrong while doing this process. This isn't harmful in any way to your GPU whatsoever. It's just to make sure your PC remains as it was if something might go wrong. But this won't harm, harm your parts. There is a small 0, I might say 1% chance, 0,1% chance of this making your PC unstable. If you open it without giving it access to anything, this will come up. To fix it, just click OK and exit out. 
right click and run it as administrator. You'll find yourself with this program. Now find your GeForce or any graphic card you have. Mine is called NVIDIA GeForce GTX 770. If you have a AMD card, it would probably say RX 580 or something, whatever card you have. If you have an integrated graphics card, it might come up with a different name like Intel, I don't know. But yeah, you would find it. And next off, go into the inter priority, put it on put it on high. Like so. Go here and click high. And then you just click apply and exit out of this. And go back. GPU settings. I have NVIDIA, so you go into NVIDIA, but go into anything which is your brand of your GPU. I'm going to go with NVIDIA before opening NVIDIA control panel or doing anything. Just click this for NVIDIA and hide silk smoothness and click yes. I might I need to give a huge shout out to Adam X for creating this template. Now from here you can just copy your settings into your control panel. This might yeah, this is quite easy, so I'm going to leave that up to you. Exit out of here, go into the cleanup and first off for the, uh, run the delete log files. Like that, like that, like that. Okay, if the access is denied, that is because it's in use and yeah, you should be happy with that. And now if it says press any key to continue, just click enter and you exit out of this. Next off, just go in here, delete temporary files and run it. And this goes quite quick for me. And then again, press enter to continue. You could also use this cleanup if your disk is quite full, but that isn't necessary for me. Next up, run this, startup apps, and disable any app you don't like or don't need at the start. So I don't really need Steam, so I just disable it. I use Epic Games and Chrome quite often, so I'm just going to leave them enabled. Then you can just exit out of this and you're done with this step. Okay, so the next step is quite simple. You just want to go and head over to Chrome. And you type your motherboard name, so Weaver50 for me. If you have a custom build, you would notice, but in CPU Z, it's, a, it's an application, and you can download it, and you can see your motherboard name. You just want to Google that, so I have the B450 Tomahawk Max 2, and you type drivers behind the name. Then a support chart comes up, uh, for me that supports for B450 Tomahawk Max 2. Head into that, go into the... Go into the BIOS tab, download the latest one, put it on the flash disk and just open your BIOS and quickly flash the BIOS for better performance. This may increase nothing but for some people it even gives 5 times the original performance. So I would definitely suggest trying it out. Uh, for the last and final step, you just want to go over to Vegas. So let's quickly load this. Uh, okay, as you can see, there it is. Next up, go into Options, Preferences, Video, and for the Dynamic RAM Preview, Max MB, you want to put some somewhere between one gigabyte and eight gigabytes. So eight, so that's one thousand between one thousand MB and eight thousand MB. You don't want to go over 8000 MB how many RAM you have whatsoever because if you go over 8000 MB it takes time to crash a lot and a lot more. Uh, the maxi maximum number of rendering threads just put it all the way and all the way to the max so for me that's 48 but if you have a better processor this number will be way higher. Next up uh, GPU acceleration for video processing just put, a, put your graphics card here if it's supported click apply there will probably come up a notification that you need to restart your vegas if it does come up for you you just want to quickly restart your vegas and that's it for this video but yeah if you have any ideas for what i should do in the future or what kind of videos leave them in the comments but for now 
Thank you all for watching.